Hello everyone, in this video I'll be doing a Linux terminal tutorial for the alias command. Now, the alias command allows you to execute a very long-winded terminal command with a shorthand statement. For example, one of the common alias commands I've come across in Ubuntu and some other Linux distributions is the long list, LL, which is shorthand for LS and dash A L and capital F. See, same output. And if you want the shorthand statement for clearing the screen, that is control L. <laughs> I don't think there's much of a way of making it shorter than that. Alias is the command alias. And typing it without anything displays all the alias commands that I have on my system. So that was the one I demonstrated, alias LL equals LS dash ALF. And this is how you write an alias command. For example, I would like to set up an alias command to one of my SSH servers, but rather than typing in SSH and the computer name, I'm going to type in alias Melina equals a single quote, SS, SSH space, uh, we Melina dot TZD. And that sets up a temporary alias command. So now if I type Melina and I can press tab to autocomplete, there we go, I'm now going across to SSH command and that's what it's executing. There's some other examples like uh, doing dot dot to change folder. So dot dot equals, and uh, we're doing quotes, single quote, cd dot dot, uh, three dots for going up another folder level. So cd dot dot slash dot dot. So let's get back up to the root folder. So three dots and where am I? <laughs> well, root folder, I'm not gonna see that anyway, but yeah, <laughs> that's uh, effectively confirmed that is uh, where I'm at. So if I go back to my home folder and do two dots, I end up in the, well, slash home rather than being slash home slash quit. So that's a couple of uses of creating a temporary alias command. So if I want to get rid of any of these temporary commands, and note I'm saying the word temporary at the moment, we will make them permanent. So I'll type in unalias and one of the commands. So let's go for the dot dot and um, maybe the dot dot dot. So now if I type that in, yeah, it doesn't do anything. Command not found. Yep, command not found. And if I want to unalias everything, so that'd be unalias dash A. So if I type in LL, Command not found. Alias dash P, print them all out. Yeah, there's none there. So I could put back all the default commands by executing bash RC over again. So bash RC, alias, so everything's back. Uh, you notice how I'm interchanging between alias and alias dash P. They, they do the same thing. If you don't specify commands, then alias will list everything. So let's make these permanent. Now that is done by editing the bash rc file. So with your favorite text editor, <laughs> whichever one you choose, I will go with nano, tilde forward slash dot bash rc. So if I scroll down, now in Ubuntu, we have some aliases set up here. So yep, some more ls aliases and alias definitions. So you may want to put all your additions in a separate file like, like dot bash aliases instead of adding them here directly. So that seems a good idea, but if you don't have that file, we'll add them straight into the bash RC. Now, either one is good I and mean, all that's doing is if file exists bash aliases, then another way of saying that is source and then bash aliases, which would be running that bash script. It's like executing a file, but we're executing a script. So we'll make that file since I, I don't believe it exists on my system. So touch dot bash aliases. And then nano to open up the file into a text editor. So what was one of these shortcuts I had earlier? So I had that SSH to my Molina server, that was no track server. So I do alias Molina equals in quotes. SSH space Melina dot TZD, close quotes, and another one was for changing up a folder, so dot dot equals CD dot dot. 
This is case sensitive, so if I want to make a safe remove command, I would do alias rm dash i. The demonstration of this command is you would just do the lowercase rm, but I just want to demonstrate uh, how it is case sensitive. So yeah, close that, save it, yes, and we're going to execute bash rc over again. So that was a dot space forward slash dot bash rc. So now if I do, yep, Melina, straight to SSH server, let's create a temporary file. So um, yeah, temp.txt. Oh, forgot I'm in the home folder. I forgot where I was, didn't I? Let's try that again. So capital RM temp.txt, yes, that is a save remove command versus doing the normal remove command, which just gets rid of it. So that was a look at aliases. Thanks for watching. See you all later. <laughs>